Once you guys got another video on a useful app for permanently deleting files beyond recovery. Now, if you've ever deleted a file on your computer, you may know that these files are easily recoverable using certain software. Even if it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete your files from your computer? It doesn't necessarily mean they are permanently deleted from your computer. These can be easily recovered using data recovery software that is very cheap and affordable and even some of the free ones can recover these files with ease but if you're using something like permadelete this is very useful for people that want to completely erase files from their computer and stop them from being recovered there's a free application that you can get on github i'll try and leave a link for it in the video description they have a portable version and they also have the installer right here it doesn't look like it's been updated since March 31, 2023, but it should still work pretty well. So let's take a look at it. We're going to go ahead and download it, and we're going to go ahead and get it installed on the computer. So let's go ahead and click Next here, and Next again. And you can see it's going to add a Send To folder as well. I'm going to launch the application itself. And it should look something looking like this. Now you can either drag or drop these files into this location, or you can use the buttons up the top. So if you have confidential or sensitive information on your computer, it's always best to shred the files or folders on that computer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. You've got themes here. You can change the color of the theme if that's something you want to do. You can go ahead and change those right here. There's a gray one there as well if you like the dark sort of themes. And then you've got the paranoid settings right here. Default number of overwrite passes. One is recommended. Now, I recommend doing free if you've got really sensitive information. This will do free random overwrites of the deletion of that file. And this will make it impossible to even recover from your computer. So this is what I would advise you to do if you, say, have some photos on your PC that you want to completely erase or you have some sensitive documents that you want to completely erase as well. Use number three, I would say. Obviously, the more overwrites uh, that you're doing or passes that you're doing uh, will determine how long it takes to remove that content uh, from the computer and delete it properly because it has to completely delete all of the file properly by using certain passes. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to work it first by using the actual app itself. We can go ahead and select a file here and you'll see a pop-up box will go here and you can see the default now is set to free because I set it to free. And you can choose up to 10 on here. Now, of course, up to free will be perfectly fine. No one's going to be able to recover this file from your PC. It's going to be completely erased. Next, we can do drag and drop as well, just like so. Very simple and easy to do. Just drag and drop them straight in. You can even do folders on here as well by dragging and drop them onto the computer. Or you can use the in, in menu for the actual app itself. It's entirely up to you which way you want to go about doing it. So let me go ahead and just drag this in like so. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main uh, application here and show you if you wanted to do it from inside here you can even drag it onto the actual icon I'll show you that in a second so I'm going to select this folder here and this could have photos inside here that you want to completely erase from your computer maybe you're giving the computer away or you're selling a computer you might want to do this before you completely erase the hard drive and this will make sure that all of the data is securely erased before you give that computer away now we can close this uh, actual application down as well. And we can actually drag the files onto the icon up on the top left hand side. There's a desktop icon here and you'll see straight away that it opens up the application like so. And we can just shred it just like so. So you don't have to have the application open. If there's a folder or file that you just want to quickly uh, drag onto there, you can even do folders here with files inside them, drag them over here and click uh, shred and it will go ahead and shred them I just click cancel there by mistake and there we go it's that simple and that's basically how you can securely erase any sort of files or folders on your pc and this could be 
uh, music files, movies or photos or any other type of file that you have. Now I've uploaded this to Virus Total, and there was two flags here, but these are from unknown uh, companies here. But all the rest have said that the file is safe and clean to use. And these are all reputable companies here, like your Kaspersky, your ESET, and also Webroot, and a bunch of other ones like Bitdefender and Trend Micro, uh, Avast. These say it's clean and safe to use. So. It's up to you whether you want to use the file. I think it's safe to use. Those two flags are from companies I don't even know. But again, do your own research. I think it's perfectly fine to use. Uh, again, it is a pretty useful little application. If you have files that you want to completely erase on your computer, you can use something like this as well. Very useful, in my opinion. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. So if you have data on your PC that you want to quickly shred rather than going through the recycle bin on Windows because all of that data can easily be recovered even if you're using the holding the shift button and deleting files that way it can be recovered still. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next one or catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.